So moving from Marvel now to Bond, the franchise that's going to outlive us all someday, primarily just because <laughs> just regenerates like Doctor Who. Yeah. Wait a second. Stop. So, so supposedly <laughs> we're still a few years off from getting any new James Bond castings or whatever else. They said they won't start filming for at least another two years. And the people that own the the Bond IP, the Broccoli family, actually is the name. Uh, no, that's not. No, that okay, is their go, name. I gotta Google that. Barbara no. Broccoli. <laughs> Barbara Broccoli is the person that owns James Bond. But they've said they're not going to be beginning filming for the next James Bond for a while. And when they do, the next James Bond will be a quote-unquote reinvention of the character. Which, I'll be honest, is probably for the best. There's a lot of stuff about James Bond. Josh realized it. <laughs> I, I just Googled it. Yeah, it's it's broccoli. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> All right, so anyway. <laughs> How they have not made... A Veggie Tales James Bond yet, and have someone literally named Barbara Broccoli and being the greatest inside joke of all time is beyond me. But oh, it's because somebody else owns Veggie Tales now. But anyway, we don't we don't talk about the downfall of Veggie Tales and quality. It was like yeah. a freaking nosedive. <laughs> That's such a niche topic, though. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, the discussion today is the downfall of the <laughs> modern <laughs> social economic climate after the fall of Veggie Tales. <laughs> Oh my gosh uh but like but, i on a side note quick and we'll get back to bond i blame veggie tales for my love of puns like my dad did puns and all that but like you can't be- tell me that you didn't watch veggie tales as a child and not walk away with like the, a love of puns because that is most of that show <laughs> anyway james bond's daughter might have watched veggie tales but i don't think the new Probably. bond will have a daughter as once again who said that Bond will be, quote-unquote, reinvented this next incarnation whenever he regenerates like Doctor Who. I know it just made that joke, but I don't care. Um, I think this is good. I know some people would be mad about it. It's like, there's certain things about James Bond you just don't change. He's iconic. Some things about Bond you probably could change. Let's let's maybe tone down the womanizing just, just a little bit. Maybe like... One mo- one woman <laughs> per movie. Just just, just a little bit, just a little. please. <laughs> Maybe just one woman per movie. That's okay. <laughs> That's fine. Maybe don't just, you know, kill them for motivation for the, your next for couple Bond. movies. Or let's let's not kill them off before we even properly introduce them with a name. Let's let's just treat women better in the Bond movies. No, what a what no, a crazy no, 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 idea. No. Now, that being said. Bond should not be a woman. I know there's this whole freak out of when there's like 007's a woman in No Time to Die, which was true. But we were just like, yeah, no, 007 is different than Bond. Mm-hmm. 007 is a designation. If y'all mm-hmm. remember, before Casino Royale, he wasn't a double O. He had to earn the double O status. So the double O part doesn't bother me. However, the Broccoli family has said, no, Bond will never be a woman. That part is just locked to the character. It may be toned down the womanizing, though. Um, I will be very curious to see what this quote-unquote reinvention is. Um, Because Bond has always kind of been reflected of the era that they are presented in, especially with the General Craig ones. They started off feeling like born movies because born had come out a few years before Mm -hmm. that um the pierce brosnan era was the big bombastic con air slash face-off era of like the big huge epic nonsensical action movies uh so what the current landscape for action movies is i don't know how that would look for bond but maybe like a john wick style bond i could get on board with um Josh, when you hear reinvention of Bond, what do you think? I just think of like, okay, so we have to give credit where credit is due because the Daniel Craig Bonds have definitely gone a long way, especially with each iteration, into kind of reinventing a little bit, adding a little bit of realism, making him just a little bit less of a of a womanizer. Um, but even in, in No Time to Die, when he has yeah. a kid... 
he's still hitting on Ana de Armas. I'm going, I know it's Ana de Armas, but you have a kid and a <laughs> wife. Come on now, man. I know, I know. But like, for the most part, they tone it down for him quite a bit. So, I mean, and to you got like, I'm going to give credit where credit is due, you know, because Daniel Craig's bond to me is the bond that I grew up with. So, like, that's the only bond I really know. And like having seen some of the, the past stuff, like, yeah, it makes sense. He's definitely they've definitely tried to change him and reinvent and kind of move him and bond into a, a different kind of uh, character than what the, like Daniel Craig's bond is completely different from Sean Connery's bond. If we're being honest, like, it, which is crazy because that's that's not really that many amount that many years removed uh. from that. It, it, it's like 30 to 40 years, but okay. Yeah, but like, that's, that's not, not that, that many. many. That's not long that's not than Josh many. has been alive. <sighs> anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> Josh uh, is getting up there. Yeah, I am. I, I gotta love it. But like, I think the reinvention is how, A, who's gonna play? B, how do you change that? Because like, if, if they do reflect the action movies of our time, I think the weird thing is that action movies are still very like they're varied john wick yes to me is like the peak uh action movie right now i think that is the ones that we, they should all strive for but like jason statham is still making you know those movies that he makes and i say that like that but like i'm like i don't watch every single one he, he's in I say, I Josh, love those you movies. could probably quote crank to us right gosh, now gosh this is so great such a great movie anyway um transporter is not even his best work anyway um i can't believe it. i'm not gonna go on a jason statham rant um but i think that's what's what's going to be interesting especially in the the day and age of like expendables and like knowing and like uh, mma is a, is more broadly available to people i think there would be there's a really there could be potentially a really fun interesting way to now mesh the worlds of like James Bond, John Wick. I'm not saying like character wise. I'm saying like th thematically and stylistically wise. Like it could be very, very interesting and like maybe dipping a couple toes into Kingsman. Like that kind of style could be a lot of fun. And I think Kingsman goes a long way of showing like how you can do gadgets in a fun and different way. And I don't, I, I would love to get a Bond that does get back to go to like cool, fun little gadgets. Yeah, it's funny you bring up Kingsman because I was going to say I could see Matthew Vaughn doing a James mm -hmm. Bond movie. I would like Absolutely. it more if it was a few years ago, if he hadn't done <laughs> the Kingsman sequels and the prequel. Uh, but he, he seems tied up with Kingsman. He, I think he's doing yet another one. I'm going, are you are you sure you want to do this? Um, yeah, director, I'm not sure. I know Christopher Nolan has wanted to do a Bond movie forever, but and I I say this in the nicest way possible. Christopher Nolan movies aren't fun enough to be Bond. Bond, Correct. you need a little bit of fun. And mm -hmm. I don't think of fun when I think of Nolan. I think of really good, excellent, well-made movies, but not fun popcorn movies like what Bond's supposed to be. Yeah. And also... I, I think... Yeah. I'm sorry. I, I, I think if, if it was Inception, Christopher Nolan, I'd be more on board. But like because agreed. of all the stuff that he's made since then, mm, I don't know about that. My question has also been ever since no time to die came out and spoiler alert for no time to die people they pretty definitively end the daniel craig story for bond where do we go for bond in terms of like do we bring back ray finds his m do we bring back q or do we recast those and just like blank slate everything because in years mm -hmm. past we've recasted the bond but everyone else around him, for the most part, kind of stays the same. Like, um, Judy Dench stayed on as M for a while. So do we keep that cast or do we start completely fresh? I'm, I'm fine either way. I think it's easier if we start completely fresh because it'd be more jumping through hoops of, well... How do we have this bond now? Because it might contradict something mm -hmm. else. In which case, we would bring up the great question that we'll be pondering until it finally gets answered. Who is the next bond? If this was 15 years ago, my top choice would have been Idris Elba in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. 
but he's too old to lead a franchise. I think if we were starting with an older Bond, maybe, but this is a franchise they want to get some longevity out of. It is the Tom Holland Uncharted effect of they want multiple movies out of mm-hmm. this. They want to milk this as a long-term franchise, so you got to look at a younger actor. Um, I could see Tom Hiddleston absolutely as a front runner. Uh, I both would love and hate Henry Cavill as James Bond. I think he'd be a perfect choice, but I would hate it because he might be too busy for some other things. Um, I know there's an actor from Bridgerton that has been like the surprisingly Vegas betting odds, which I'm just going, who who has Vegas betting odds for the next Bond? And how do we get in on that? Um, <laughs> it's like Rege... Re, re, Ray J, whatever. Ray I'm, I'm, Ray J, uh, Dude, we, this, this is the episode Bridgerton, of live Googling. Ray J. Ray J. Ray J. Jean Page. Yeah, he's 34. He's like the top pick for a lot of people right now. I'm going, I'm going to trust your judgment, people. Because I will never watch Bridgerton. And I don't know if I'm going to watch the Dungeons and Dragons movie he's got coming up. Um, mm, yeah, we'll see. There's, There's... I don't have a name specifically. Mm-hmm. I got some names that I don't want. Um, don't give me Taron Edgerton, please. As much as I love Eggsy, just doesn't fit. Don't give me Daniel Radcliffe. And I know there's some people out there that'll probably want Daniel Radcliffe. Rupert Grint as Bond. Make it happen, you cowards. Ginger Bond.